What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, I'm excited for this one. We got ourselves a really cool team today. We are rocking out with a Life or Rayquaza team that features Yabelta and Toxtricity. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, get on top of that. Click that big red subscribe button. But before we actually get started with today's team preview, I want to give a huge shout out to my boy Joshua for actually leaving this team or, or tweeting at me, tweeting this team at me over on Twitter. Gave me this team. I want to use Toxtricity for a little bit and he sent me one. So huge shout out to him. If you guys want to send me teams, you guys are in the deal. Go follow me over on Twitter. DM me, tweet at me, all that good stuff. I've been messaging people back on Twitter, been uh, staying on top of that. And I've been using a lot of rental teams from people who send it to me on Twitter. So it's really, really cool. But uh, before we actually get started here, once again, I'm going to go over something. Flights, like airplane flights. I have a flight at 630 day. I have to be there at like four o'clock. Like, this is just, oh, I can't stand it. I can't stand it. I feel like my whole day is just like, hovering around that i gotta get so much done before four o'clock like why do why do you have to be at the airport like two or three hours before it's ridiculous it is ridiculous i'm not a fan of it not a fan of it whatsoever because it just wastes all my time i'm a busy guy i'm a busy guy so still bringing some content for you guys still bringing some content for you guys but let's get started here finally with the team preview rocking out with the rayquaza we've got airlock and life orb alongside with hurricane draco meteor earth power and protect pretty normal moveset for any rayquaza but like you don't get to see rayquaza too often Grimmsnarl over here with the screen set up. Pranks are light light, reflect light screen, scary face, spirit break. Everything's pretty normal, but this Pokemon is so, so good as a support mod. We got that Assault Vest Normal Yvelta. I don't even have to go over it. And then we're rocking Arcanine as our fourth Pokemon. Arcanine's rocking Intimidate, Shukaberry, Protect, Flare Blitz, will o -Wisp, and Snarl. One of my favorite movesets used in BDSP, so hopefully it can work well in some Sword and Shield. Bottom left-hand corner is the heart and soul of the team. We got Toxtricity over here. Punk Rock as its ability, and we're rocking the Magnet as its item. We got Overdrive, Boom Burst, Sludge Bomb, and Protect. So two stab moves. We got a nice lovely coverage move. Last but not least, we got Protect. And I should mention, this is G-Max Toxtricity, so it's going to be a lot of fun to use. Final Pokemon on the squad is the lovely little Fighting in Water Urshu. I love Urshu so much. Such a cool Pokemon to use and really strong. Great in the back end as well. Unseen Fist, so it can hit through Protects. Focus Ash, which I do believe is his best item. Then we'll rock a Close Combat, Aqua Jet, Detect, and Surgeon Strikes. Guys, if you want to try this team for yourself, let the code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with this G-Max Toxtra City team. Let's get rolling here in battle number one. We're going up against a Yvelta and Solgaleo Trick Roomish team. Kind of, a little bit. I mean, he can trick him with Wimscott, but then he has the Lola Malwak, the Landers, and the Lapras. So I'm going to rock into uh, Grimstone for turn one. Get my screen set up, and I think Toxtricity could be a solid lead here as well. Could definitely be a solid lead here as well. But, but the only thing we have to watch out for is the uh, the Landers, like him swapping in the Landers. That could be all. But uh, we'll, we'll, we'll roll with Toxtricity, Grimstone. I'm with it. Then Rayquaza, Yvelt in the back end? Sounds pretty nice, right? It does sound pretty nice. I'm going to lock it in. I'm going to lock it down. We're going to look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. But, yo, before battle number one starts, you guys got to let me know for question of the day. Who was on your main team for Pokemon Sword and Shield? My six I had was Rillaboom, Graplock. I love Graplock. The Fighting Octopus. Uh, Sentascorch, Dreadnought, Corviknight, and what was my last? What was my last Pokemon? I can't even think of it. I can't think of it. Corviknight, Dreadnought, Rillaboom, Sentascorch, Rapalock and Toxtricity. Why couldn't I think of that one? And <laughs> it was Toxtricity. Yeah, Toxtricity is such a cool Pokemon. And this is a solid lead for us. I can set up a Light Screen. We kind of get buzzing from there. And who do I go after? Who do I go after? So Light Screen's obviously going to get set up here. I'm going to G Max Sunshock. And who do I go after? I feel, I feel like we have to go after Yavelta, right? We're hoping he doesn't have Landers in the back. I'm going to go after I'm going to go after Yavelta here. Please do not swap the Yavelta. Please do not swap. Okay, cool. He's going to Dynamax. I'm going to Dynamax, which is really, really good. And hopefully we get some Paralyzes out here, because Paralyze grants us some nice speed control, and I got to remember, I cannot scary face uh, the Yvelta. I cannot do that. But he's going to Dynamax here. I think we should be thriving here. After his light screen's up? Yeah. Yeah, we should be fine. We should be fine. Lovely little light screen coming out here. Plus, we do have the Magnet. It's going to make us do more damage. Maybe he'll swap the Lapras. Protect the Lapras, something along those lines. Let's see what he does. And I would, I would expect him to Dynamax the Lapras a little bit more. Especially in this situation, because I would feel like Yvelta is just there for like support, and G Max Lapras is ready to roll just to drop that ice and get that uh, resonance rolling. Well, not the resonance, the uh, Aurora Bell. But still, we're getting our Toxtricity out here. This is exactly why I use this boy. Look how cold he is. So sick. He is so sick. He is so tough. He's going to end up dropping an Ice Shard, and he's going to always oh, pop him policy. Oh no. Oh no. This could be rough for us. This could definitely be rough for us. Light Screen, I'm going to need your help here. I'm going to need your help here, Latrine. I'm going to need your help. Yo, he ice shard and pop policy. 
Can we eat this? He's gonna go for darkness, yo. Eat this up, you about to. We're going after Grimstone. We're not you about toxicity. Let's go. That's a huge eat up. That is a ridiculously strong eat up. Love it. Love it, love it. He's gonna get the uh, special defense shot, but I'm totally cool with that. I'm totally cool with that because we do get off this G-Max Sunshock and hopefully we get some paralyzed out here. Let's run it. Big old G-Max Sunshock. Get off some nice damage. Look at that. Look at that. Solid damage there. With a bulky Yabelta. Give me a paralyze on the Yabelta. No, I want the paralyze on Yabelta. I want the paralyze on Yabelta. No, not one paralyze? Paralyze is so much better than the poison. It is so much better than the poison. That is ridiculous. That is ridiculous. Okay, so uh, from here, I could... Which I'm leaning towards a little bit. I could set up a reflect. What other Pokemon do you have in the back? Ah, oh, yeah, we gotta set up the reflect. We gotta set up the reflect, and I think we just guard here, right? That hurts. Yeah, we'll, we'll set we'll set up the guard here, and we'll set up the reflect. I'm with it because I just don't want uh, I don't want to guard and not set up the reflect, and not have it for the rest of the game. This could be tough. So reflect can come out here. Let's see what he does from here. Let's see his dude's play. You about to please guard for toxicity? Oh, dude, he makes a read little biscuit we'll be able to soak that up but still actually no we're not gonna be able to soak that up oh my lord it makes a hard read doesn't work on us now he has speed all day and a weakness policy popped onto that yvelta so we could have just dumped on it we could just got rid of it actually no because yvelta or what's called probably could have taken us out with freeze drive maybe maybe not let me cut it close a great read by him but of course we get double poison man not double poison we want a little bit more out of that we want a little bit more out of that Okay, uh, you're about to come out here for us. Not too shabby. Or we can go into Rayquaza. Hmm. What's my play? My play? He has speed. He's going to do so much damage on us. A Soul Fest will be nice. So, you know, I'm going to go into my, uh, I'm going to go into my Yvelta. I am going to go into my Yvelta. That's my play. We'll roll out into Yvelta. And we're going to get ripping. Dang, yo. This is going to be tough. This is going to be tough. Especially, I was not expecting the, uh, what's that? The weakness policy? This policy is definitely doing me dirty. I could Sucker Punch. I chip up some more damage, but I think Snarl is just gonna be a bear play. I can Oblivion Wing. I'll go for an Oblivion Wing, and I'll go for I'll go for a Sun Shock. Just to try to take out the Slappers if we can get it. But dang, this is gonna be tough. It's gonna be, definitely be tough. He's gonna go for Darkness. He's gonna drop our Special Defense. Probably take out Toxicity, right? Yeah. So Toxicity is gonna drop out here. He's gonna have the Special Defense drop on. Leave me alone. But I do have Light Screen. I have a Soul Fest. I should be fine with whatever he has to offer. And then Oblivion Wing should pop out here. Give us some HP back and take out take out his uh, Yvelta. Could be nice. Which could be nice. Could definitely be nice. And I do have foul play rip it on him. Freeze dry is gonna poke here. Leave me alone. Should be able to soak pretty well. Yeah. Awesome. 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 Living wing flying. Yeah, I'll eat, send it. Chip up some damage and poison should be able to pick up the rest, right? If not, we have sucker punch ready to roll. That's a solid turn. I'll take that all day. Poison, take that thing out. Get him on out of here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> dude, I dude, I can't believe I didn't get any paralyzes. The paralyze is the best one to get. So so his G-Max move either paralyzes or poisons both Pokemon on the field. But Paralyze is so good because it's just straight speed control. Just straight speed control. We chip up damage there. We have uh, Lapras out on the field, which I think he, Lapras has to go, right? We have to get rid of this Lapras. The, those free strides do me dirty. Do me real dirty. But we'll see who he brings out. If he brings out Solgaleo, I can stack a foul point right into that thing and deal some big damage. And that's a Pokemon that I would think would have the, uh, the weakness policy, right? You would think so, right? You would think so. Definitely think so. But from here, you know what? I'm just going to go into a... It's a Oblivion Wing. No, not into you. I'm going to go into Oblivion Wing onto you. I'm going to protect my Rayquaza. Thinking, or I'm going to say that this Lapras is going to drop a Freeze Strike into Rayquaza. That's because of the amount of damage it didn't do to towards my, uh... Towards my Yabelta. I just think he's going to go after my Rayquaza. I'm with that all day. And if he goes after Yabelta, that's totally fine. Moonblast coming in hot. Don't tell me you're doubling down into him. We're going to get some HP back, which is going to be nice. Don't tell me you're doubling down. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That one hurts the soul. That one hurts the soul there. That hurts the soul. <laughs> that hurts the soul, dude. <laughs> it really does. We chip up some big damage. We bring this thing down to Focus Sash. Wow, yo. That hurts the soul. That hurts the soul, yo. He doubles down into me. Wow. We get some HP back, which is solid. And then, uh, what do we do from here? I do have Sucker Punch, which I'm going to drop. Dropping a Sucker Punch. Sucker Punch coming in hot. Take you out, and then I'm going to roll into... I want a Draco Meteor, but at the same time, it's just like, nah, yo, I do not want a Draco Meteor. We go for a Hurricane? I'm going to go for this Hurricane Lane. I'm going for the Hurricane Lane. Come on, Rayquaza, I need you here. I need you here. Need you here. You're going to protect Whimsy. That's totally fine. Protects Whimsy. We need to land this Hurricane. 
Second punch is gonna get blocked. And then he's gonna go for a freeze dry. That hurts his soul. Oh, you go after you, okay? Thinking, oh, dang, that did a lot of damage. Land this hurricane, please. No, no, dude! No! <laughs> what is this, dude? I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> at least let me miss my hurricane. Give me a shot here, you know? Give me a shot at win this battle. We'll go for a protect, see if we can thaw out. That's rough, dude. Thaw out, please. Oh my god. Freeze my Rayquaza like that. RNG, please. Be on my side. Be on my side. If we land a hurricane, we pick up the KO. That's huge. Frozen solid. Rough, 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 rough. Moonblast gonna fly here. He's gonna go after your belts. Belt's gonna be able to soak, but now what's he do? <sighs> I can't do it. I can't deal with it. Free strike's coming in hot. He's gonna take out my get out of my face, dude. This game is whack. This game is so whack. This game is so whack. But that's gonna be it. We're gonna run the battle. We totally had a shot there. If we didn't get frozen there, we were thriving. If we didn't get frozen, Hurricane lands. Lapras is dead. Then he's gonna have to bring out probably the Soul Galio if I had to guess in the back end. Women's Scott's really not a problem because once I get off a snarl or like a sucker punch, we'll be thriving. Dude, come on, yo. RNG doing me so dirty. Plus, he made some good reads. I'll give him that. Let's grab ourselves our first win for today's video. We're going up against a Lugia and Shadow Rider Calyrex team with Clefairy, Urshifu, Rillaboom, and Dragapult. Okay, Yvelta, you're definitely coming in here. I need you so bad. And I might actually lead Yvelta. Yvelta's pretty solid as lead. And I can lead Arcanine. No, I'm not going to lead Arcanine. I don't think we really need Arcanine. I think Yvelta is definitely a great lead for the situation because we can snarl on a bunch of special attackers. And we can kind of just roll out from there. Grim is also solid. I just like having the screens and being able to roll out from there. And with the scary face, good. That's good. That's your speed control right there. That's your speed control. We'll bring Rayquaza in the back end for potential Dynamax. And then I'm leaning towards like Urshifu. I don't know why. I am leaning towards Ur Urshifu. But Toxtricity could be a cool Pokemon to bring in the back end. A little bit of Toxtricity action. I do have the Focus Ash in Urshifu, which always works wonders. Which always does good. Hmm. But, or I could go Arcanine. I could go Arcanine just to deal with that Rillaboom and that Urshifu. It'd be nice. And I could throw burns on him. But nah, I want I want more attackers. So I'm gonna go Urshifu here. Or I go Toxicity. My play. What's my play? I am gonna go. I'm gonna go Urshifu. I'm gonna stick with Urshifu. I like that focus ash with them. We're looking for a win here. Let's lock it down. Let's lock it in. Look, let's look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number two. But yeah, he has Lugia. And Lugia is one of those Pokemon who are is like it's low-key really good. It doesn't get like a lot of people don't use him. But Lugia is really good because it's super, super bulky and it usually rocks the policy, kind of like Solgaleo. It's like a bulky Pokemon that once it gets policy proc, can hit pretty hard. So that's just a Pokemon I have to watch out for. That's just someone I have to watch out for. And that's exactly what he's going to go into. He's going to go into the Fairy. I'm going to with Lugia. And from here, you know what? I'm just going to Snarl drop. Right? Be no reason not to. Snarl, Light Screen, Snarl, Light Screen. Like, <laughs> it's just easy, right? It's got to be our play. That is going to be our play. Snarl. Even though we're probably pop, uh, pop policy here. Actually, do I pop policy? I mean, that'll make him stronger at this point. I'm still gonna do it. I just want to be able to start special attack dropping. And he's not gonna Dynamax. It's gorgeous. That's gorgeous. So maybe he's not policy. Let's see what he does here. This screen comes out here. Luke is. Oh, you little bitch. He's gonna go for Calm Mind. So Calm Mind's gonna get set up. Our physical attackers. Oh, do we have any physical? I have Urge in the back end. He's gonna have to be your go to. I do have some physical attack moves like foul play and all that, but Snarls can come out here and just drop that special attack. That's fine. It can be a bulk. We can we can potentially get a crit later in the match. But I think I just gotta keep sending that. Just start going for like other stuff. He's gonna like do. That's fine. That was actually that was actually a decent play by him. I'll give it to him. That was a decent play. Wait, let me just snarl and uh let me just snarl and just start dropping uh what is it, spear breaks. Alright, so all spear breaks. Gotta be my play. He is a bit faster. I could scary face him, but I'm just gonna go into this. I doubt he dies. Do we think he's gonna Dynamax? I don't know if he's gonna Dynamax with a uh, my Yvelta snarling up on the field. I could waste out his Dynamax turns. He's just gonna go for a follow me. That's fine. What's he going for? More calm minds? He's just going for more calm minds. And life dude's scary. This guy, this is kind of scary right here. This is kind of scary. I'm not gonna lie. He's gonna special defense bulk up. And then Life Dude could definitely do me dirty. Heals. The Heelys. I'm gonna keep snarling. I could Dynamax. But again, Dynamax isn't gonna do, gonna do too much for us. Hmm. Hmm. Have a Spear Break. Spear Break does a decent amount of damage. 
if he follows me again, uh, we should be able to take him out. But I'm just gonna snarl and I'm just gonna go into uh, another spirit break here. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. We gotta keep it. We gotta keep his special attack under control. His special defense. I mean, he can have it. He can bulk up. But as long as his attack isn't so high, I think we should be fine. Because his Pokemon doesn't really hit too hard. If it's just bulky, we can deal with it later. With like Urshifu in the back end and kind of just target down his uh, his other slot. So I'm with this. So we should be able to take out Clefairy, no problem here. He's gonna go for a life dude, but we are doubling down into this Pokemon. And I think I think this should be enough to take him out, right? Can this Spirit Break take him out? Please show it to me. I love you forever. Come on, Spirit Break, do him dirty. Do him dirty. Do him dirty. Just get rid of this Clefairy. Spirit Break, do him. Come on, Grimmy. Come on, Grimmy. Grimmy, my dude, my dude, Grimmy with a big time KO. That's a big time KO there. We get rid of his support mon. We love it. So now he has a, a Lugia who's plus three on special defense. Uh, I think we just keep attacking. He can fake me out if he wants, which is totally fine. I think he's going to Dynamax here at this point. And do I set up a Reflect? We have Light Train up. We do have Light Train up. I could set up a Reflect, but I think Fake Out is just going to roll out here. So from here, you know what? I'm just going to Snarl. And I'm just going to roll into a... Uh, I'm just going to roll into a Spirit Break if I can. Yeah, I'm just going to roll into a Spirit Break if I can. I'm just going to keep targeting down this Lugia, making sure it's not going to hit hard, because I don't want him to Dynamax that thing, and I think he might go for the Dynamax right here right now. He does not. He's going to fake me out. Yeah, he sent it on my Grim Snarl. That's totally fine. Grim Grim's going to take some damage. This thing's going to calm mind setup again. I'm, I'm fine with the calm mind setups. I'm really fine with that. I'm really fine with that, because I feel like we can just waste it out. Maybe Urshfu can come in the back end. Maybe we can bank on a crit, but if I can just, like, start teeing off on his other Pokemon, you know, get some work done. Yo, look how much damage that did a Rillaboom. That's great. That's huge. That is huge. I might set up, I might set up the Reflect this turn. I might set up the Reflect this turn. Might, just might set up the Reflect. Because who else does he have in the back end? We have to, we have to take a look at this. I'm guessing a Shadow Rider Calyx, right? It's got to be Shadow, and it, uh, yeah, the Reflect could do me good. Reflect could definitely be good. I could snarl or I could just blow you and take the thing out. I don't think he calm mines again here. I really don't see him calm mining. And I'll spirit break onto his slot just in case. Just get that special attack drop. We'll see what he does. This guy should go for the absolute all out bulk on special defense. I think that's his play all day. Yeah, we can roll into an oblivion again. I do not see Grass Guy taking out either of these Pokemon. Maybe Grim. Oh, dude, if it takes out my Grim Star, I'm gonna cry a little bit. Let's see what he does. Grass Guy coming in hot. Cool, Grim Snarl eats. Cool, cool, cool. Calm Mind's coming in hot, and I'm fine with this turn. We're gonna Oblivion Wing, get some HP back, and I'll set up a Reflect next turn. And then a uh, Special Attack Drop is still gonna slide over. That's huge. And I think Rillaboom goes down here, right? Oblivion Wing, send it. Send it. Built. Loving it. So you're gone. Get them on out my face. We're gonna get buzzing from here. We are gonna get buzzing. Buzzing, buzzing, buzzing. Buzzing, buzzing, buzzing. Spirit Break's gonna fly over. This is Physical Attack, so let's see how much damage you can do. Not too bad, but more importantly, we're getting a special attack drop. I'm keeping this Lugia under control. He's going to eat a berry. You little biscuit. What berry is that? What berry did you just eat? A key berry. What? What? What is a key berry? <laughs> what is a key berry? What is that? I, I, like, who uses that? Kalyx going to come out here. I'm dropping a sucker punch into that thing. All day long, sucker punch coming in hot. I can't deal with that. And I'll spirit break back over to Lugia. I shall spirit break right back into that Lugia. The Sucker Punch coming in hot. And do I double down into him? Nah, we're just gonna, we're just gonna send it this way. This is last two. He's gonna have to Dynamax somebody. He's gonna have to Dynamax this one. So we're playing this one real slow. I'm, I totally forgot we took out two Pokemon. We're really doing this Lugia dirty. That Lugia like, had Calm Mind early on setup, but I was just like, yo, let me keep this thing under control. Let me keep this under control. And these two Pokemon right here, the Shivelta and Grimstar, they can get buzzing. They get buzzing, yo. They can control the battle so well with the screens and the special attack drops. Beautiful. It's beautiful. And I have a uh, really good HP recovery with Yvelta due to his Oblivion Wing. He's going to end up finally Dynamaxing Lugia, which I'm totally cool with. It's just going to be a bulk, and if I can get rid of this uh, Shadow Rider Calyx, I'm, I'm sure my Pokemon will be just fine just rolling in the battle, kind of going from there. Plus, I still have my Dynamax. So, we're going to drop a Sucker Punch. Hopefully, this thing's not Sash, but if I had to guess, it's Sash, right? Yeah. So, Sash is going to come out here. He's going to drop an Astral Barrage. We're going to get going from here. Astro Barrage. So Grimmy goes down here. A little scary. But we can still pose that threat onto that. Uh... Oh, Grimmy survives. Oh, that's even better. That's even better. That's even better. He's going to airstream into Yvelta, right? Now he's going to airstream into Grimstar. I'm cool with that. I'm fine with that. 
I'm fine with that. So he's going to take a bit more speed. I could sucker punch into him, but I don't think that's going to be my play. I think we're just going to start foul playing. I think he's going to protect that uh that Calyrex. I don't think he's going to move with it. I do not think he's going to move with it. But at this point, I'm just going to bring out my uh, Urshifu. I think I Dynamax Urshi, right? Good Dynamax Urshifu. Or, you know, Rick Haas would probably be our better call. That would be a better call. We'll bring out Rayquaza. We'll send a Dynamax. And let's grab ourselves a win here. Solid. Solid battle here. Solid battle. But we played this one perfectly. Nice and slow. Kind of rolled the battle out from here. And again, I think he uh, protects the Calyrex or something. So, you know, I'm just going to foul play in the movie. I'm just going to double down into him. I'm going to go here. I'm just going to go for an Airstream. Even though Airstream is going to do, like, no damage. Like, I just think he protects Calyrex. Oh, I should have I should have went into Calyrex. I should have went into Calyrex with Rayquaza. That was a stupid play by me. Even if he did protect, we can kill him through the protect. But still. Still, still, still. Dumb call by us. Dumb call by us. Let's see what he does here. That was a really dumb call, Bass. Really, really dumb call. Because he's on 1 HP. He's on 1 HP. But I'll take this turn all day. As long as I get off this foul play. I feel like foul play should do a decent amount of damage to Lugia. This physical attack, and it's based off of the amount of his defensive boost. I'm really liking that. So we'll get our, we'll get our Rayquaza Dynamax ready to roll. We'll see what Calyx is going for. Calyx is going to go for a Will-O-Wisp. The so Will-O-Wisp is a play. That's totally fine. So he's playing on Sucker Punch, not hitting me. He's gonna go for an airstream. That's fine. Fine. Rayquaza soaks. This is this is light work. Like I said, Lugia is one of those Pokemon that is really good with weakness policy, but without it, it's like hot garbo. He burns me. Good thing I'm a special attacker. We love it. We love it. Airstream's gonna fly through here, and we're doubling down on Lugia. We're chipping up some damage on that. Like, look at that. That thing is bulk. That thing's bulking. He's bulking. He's bulking. But next turn, I'm legit just gonna keep send foul play, and I'm just gonna take out the uh, Calyrex. But yeah, this battle's looking really good for us. Foul play's gonna poke here. And there we go. Getting off some nice damage on that Lugia. And was that Lugia's last turn? That might have been. That might have been Lugia's last turn. He can burn me all he wants. He can burn me all he wants. I'm just gonna go for another foul play. I'm just gonna rip into a... Uh... Well, I could go for a Snarl. Snarl might be a bit better. Now, foul play's gonna do more damage. Actually, no. We're gonna rip into a Snarl here. Snarl. Just take out the Calyrex. And then go from there. So snarl, bang, and then one win. I guess. I guess. I guess so. I guess so. But hopefully our opponent just cancels the battle here. It's nice. He's gonna max. He's going to guard. He's gonna do a lovely little guard. And a pollen pup's gonna come in here. And he, what, what are you doing? What? 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 You, you you guard it, but you pollen puff. That was stupid. That was stupid. You can't do that. You're not allowed to. You're not allowed to heal up your Pokemon. That's pretty crazy. That dude's crazy. Now Calyrex goes down here. Now this battle is 100% in the bag. We're going to go one-on-one -on -one for today's video. I think our boy uh, cancels this battle. And we, we take the we take the big old victory. We love a big old victory. We love it. Light screen finally wears off. We are thriving. That's good that we grab ourselves a win here in battle number two. Because if we went 0-2 to get us started, battle number three would have been... Would have been... Uh, what is it? I would have been shaking in my boots battle number three. Because you guys know we can't go 0-3 in videos. But we're not doing it today. Not today. Not now. Not ever. But I think our opponent cancels the battle, right? Show, show me the cancel. Show me the cancel. He does not cancel. He stays in here. Oh, come on. Don't do not do this. Don't, don't, don't be this guy. Don't be this guy. Don't you dare be this guy. I'll swap right into my... I'll swap right into my Urshifu. Do not be this guy. Do not be this guy. That's it. I'm swapping in my Urshifu. I'm doing it. He wants to smoke? I'll give it to him. Give him the smoke all day. Foul play's gonna fire. This is gonna do a decent amount of damage. Let's love the foul play. I thought it would do a little bit more, but yeah, I'm gonna have to swap it to my Urshi. It's this guy right here, recovering, thinking he's gonna win this battle. He's not winning this battle. I have my Urshfu, and I'm swapping into him just in case he wants to stay in here. Come on, let's play. Let's do it. We'll do here, and I'll bring my Urshfu out here. My lovely little Ursh Urshfu is gonna surge and strike you and just absolutely dump on you. Not play I'm not playing games. I'm not playing games. This guy wants to play games. I'm not playing. I'm not, I'm not falling for his little games. Not falling for his little games. He's going to go for another recover. That's fine. You're done now. You're done for. Brought out physical attacker. You and your special defense boost are no good. Are no good. Are no good to me. Foul play there. And now I'm just going to foul play and certain strikes. This thing on out of here. Foul play. Give me a certain strikes. Send it. And I think Lugia is probably fast on the field. Didn't it just use a bunch of airstreams, right? Which is fine. He might go for an arrow blast, but I'm sashed. But I'm sashed. Yeah, there's the arrow blast. I'm sashed. I am sashed. I'm sashed. I am sashed. Gets that crit. The big time sash comes out here. This is why I love our super focus sash. Really, really good. Foul play's gonna poke here. Surge strikes. I need you to do a decent amount of damage here. Be a little lovely. 
Get them. Just take them out. Just finish them off, yo. We get these crits. We get these crits all day. Bang. There's one. There's two. And we do not take them out. Three. Okay, cool. I'm with that all day. So it's either he... I'm just going to go into a foul play and another uh, Surgeon Strikes. It's either he takes out my boy or I take him out. Goes for an air bot. So he's going to take out my boy here. Foul play should be able to do the work, right? Foul play should be able to do the work. Right? Come on, foul play. If foul play doesn't take him out, he might win this battle. Now, I don't I don't feel like playing the long haul. I really do not feel, feel like playing the long haul. Feel, I, don't, I don't feel like playing the long haul. Foul play comes out of here. Nah. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, 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 I'm not about it. I'm not about it. I'm not about it. I am not about it. I'm not about it. What is this? What is this? What is this? I could just start snarling, which might be my play. Might be my play. But I, I can go long haul all day. Go for ducks or something like that. Come on, yo. This guy's just going to recover and be that pain. He's really good. He's really doing this. He recovers. Come on, foul play. Come on, foul play. Oh, dude, if I, I should have aqua jetted. If I would have aqua jetted, that would have been a win. Snarling's going to come out here. We're dropping this thing special attack. I'm not playing around with it. Oh, but he could, does get crits with this area blast. Let's get crits with the air blast. Come on, Hurricane. I need you here. Hurricane. Man, dude. Need you landing. I need you landing, Hurricane. He's just gonna constantly recover up. He's just gonna constantly recover up. And this one's gonna be a long battle. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you guys. This one's gonna be a long battle. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let me explain what happened at the end of battle number two there. We ended up picking up the win, but I don't know if his connection gave out or something, because we got like that communication error that popped up on the screen. In the record books, it popped up us as a win but i think he was gonna win that battle i really do think he was gonna win that battle we ended up losing at rayquaza and it was legit just like yavelta versus uh lugia and i was going back and forth with him just oblivion taking hp he was gonna recover he constantly tried kept hitting me but we were soul fested like it was just a mess we were both at high hp there was so much time left on the clock it was just an absolute mess but we ended up picking up the win due to either his connection giving out or him just turning off the switch which I don't believe he turned off the switch if he was just rolling out there with the Lugia like that, you know? <laughs> but we take it all day. We're hopping into our third and final battle. One and one. Looking for a winning record. Going up against a Zacian and Groudon team. Okay. With Charizard. Gotta watch out for Char. And I feel like uh, a Pokemon like Arcanine could be solid here. Just for burns. Intimidate's really nice. I'm gonna lead Arcanine. So Arcanine, you're gonna get the lead. And I feel like we might want to Dynamax Rayquaza right off the rip. Rayquaza not too shabby. He's not too shabby. Or I can give you belts. I could Dynamax your belt though. See that we have 20 seconds left, but I just want to see the EVs on this thing. I kind of want to go into you, because, uh, you know, you have that airlock, and airlock's really, really good. So I'm going to go into Rayquaza, I'm going to go into Arcanine, and then I'm going to bring, uh, bum, 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 bum. I'm going to bring Urshfu in the back end alongside with, uh, Yvelta. Right? Yeah, 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 That's my call all day. That is my call all day. Airlock, Rayquaza, coming in hot, trying to grab ourselves our second win for today's video. But yeah, dude, that last battle was such a pain. If I would have just Aqua Jet it with Urshfu, it would have been done so much longer. So much longer, or it would have been done so much uh, a while ago. It would have been done a while ago, but this is what it is. We we'll, we'll take it. We'll take that win. But I, I'm curious to see what would have happened if he would have uh, his connection would have, wouldn't have gave out, or if he didn't quit the battle. He's gonna end up rolling into these boys right here, which I'm cool with. I'm definitely cool with. I'm gonna Dynamax my boy right off the rip, my uh, Rayquaza, and I'm gonna take some speed. I'm gonna airstream, and I'm gonna get off some damage onto that Regilaki, onto that Reggie. My party shot into me, which which is no bueno. We do not like party shots. But uh, from here, I could yeah. Do I do I take speed or do I go for special defense boost? I think speed's gonna be our player. We need a little bit of speed in our life. We need a little bit of speed. We need a little bit of airstream stuff. So uh yeah, we're gonna go here. I could snarl just in case he wants to swap. I might just flare butts. I don't just want to airstream. Yeah, we're gonna airstream. We're gonna grab, we're gonna grab some speed and we're gonna flare butts across. I wonder what, uh, he's probably gonna try to fake me out. Wait, he's gonna fake out my Arcanine, right? All day, or hopefully he goes after my Rayquaza. We do have this lovely airlock. I do love airlock, especially up against weather teams. But I think it's so cool how those, uh, three legendaries, they, like, they, like, they're, they're, they're together. You got the rain, you got the, the, the drought with Groudon Kyogre, and then Rayquaza's, like, third one with the airlock. So he controls it, which is gorgeous. It's amazing. But we're gonna end up Dynamax this Pokemon. 362 HP, not too shabby. Not too shabby. He's gonna end up, oh, yes, sir. Going for a fake out on the My Rayquaza. We love that. We love that. And he's gonna Volt Switch out. He's gonna Volt Switch out. So, so now, what Pokemon is gonna take some fire damage? What Pokemon is gonna take some fire damage? I wonder. Probably brought Groudon and, uh. 
probably brought Groudon and uh, Charizard. I'm kind of hoping he goes into Groudon. Ground typing gives us the fire. He's going to go into, what is that, Porygon 2? Okay, P2 comes out here. P2, baby! Airstream's going to fly. We're going to take a little bit of speed here. We're going to get rolling and wow. Wow. That damage. Huge. That's some big old damage. That's some big old damage. We like that damage. We love that damage. That's some big time damage here. Hopefully he's not buried. He's not buried. Oh, that's huge. That means Flare Bus can outspeed him next turn and take him out. That's huge. We'll take that all day. So Flare Bus flies through here. We chip up some damage there. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. I'm definitely cool with that. Because now I can just like... Well, I could just Snarl. You think Snarl could take him out? I think Snarl could take him out. I'm going to go Snarl there. And I'm just going to... uh the Quake or do I Worm Wind? I think I'm going to take a bit more speed here. And go after his P2. If I play all day. P2, I'm coming after you. Even though he's probably going to go for a Trick Room. That's no bueno. Or he could Dynamax. P2s are known to Dynamax. They are known to Dynamax. P2s are definitely known to Dynamax. Just, just slightly. Just slightly. And it's kind of scary because they do hit really hard with their uh, Hailstorms. But we'll see. Make a move, dude. Make a move. But I'm just hoping that the Snarl can KO because I'd be so upset if it doesn't pick up the KO. If it doesn't pick up the KO, I'd be, bro. I'd be, I'd be dead. I'd be losing it, but we gotta hydrate. Always gotta hydrate. He's gonna, there's the Dynamax from P2. And that makes this Snarl even better. That makes this Snarl even 10 times better. It makes this Snarl lovely. So he Dynamax is P2. I would rather him Dynamax P2 now that we're going into a Snarl and it shows us, shows us that he's not going for Trick Room. I love it. I dig it a lot. I dig it a lot. So Rayquaza's going to go first here, obviously. He's going to buzz out with an Airstream. We're going to chip up some damage onto the P2 and then Snarl's going to poke, poke out here. Look at that damage. Woo! Rayquaza, chill on him. Chill on him, Ray Ray. Ray Ray, chill on him. Crit too. That's a big crit. It's a big time crit. That's some big time crit damage. He's definitely dropping the hailstorm, like I already said. But this snarl should be able to take out Incineroar, right? Yeah, it takes out Incineroar, and more importantly, gets a special attack drop on this big old special attacker. This little glass duck. This glass duck. I love it. But yeah, hailstorm, right? Is he rocking it? Yeah. See, see, see. I knew it. I knew it. Hailstorm's gonna fly out here. Rayquaza should be able to soak that, right? Run it. Run it. Run it up. Yeah, yeah. Run it up. Yeah, yeah. We don't mind that. We do not mind that. We don't mind it one bit. Not one bit. But who did he lead? He led uh, Incineroar and... What's the other Pokemon? Who else did he lead? Regilacky. That's who it is. Look at this little booger right here. Look at this little booger. Look at this little booger. I'm going to Snarl, and I'm thinking Rayquaza should be faster, right? Rayquaza, let me see your speed. You're plus two, man. You're plus two, and if you're faster, you can drop off this big old Max Wig. Oh, yeah, you're faster. Oh, yes, sir. You're definitely faster. You're definitely faster. Let's quake this thing. Let's quake this boy. Get the get the reg like you out of here. You got to be faster than that reg like you, right? There's no way you're not. 161 plus 2. It's double speed. That is double speed. I do like where we're sitting. I do like where we're sitting. Unless he swaps the Reggie, but I don't see him swapping Reggie. He brought Reggie in here for a reason. He Dynamax the glass stuck for some odd reason. Well, I feel like that was like a last ditch effort. I feel like he was just like, yo, I have to Dynamax this duck or it's over. I feel like that's what he said. Let's see how someone plays out. He's gonna protect. I'm cool with the protect here. I'm cool with the protect. I'm cool with the protect. Oh, he's gonna guard too. Okay. Fine. So our max quake at least gets some value off. At least get some value off here. Rayquaza is still the fastest on the field. And look at oh, oh my oh my lord, look at that damage. Oh Rayquaza actually might go down here. Orb and Orb and hail damage. Let's see. Let's see, we're at what were we at? 32? I think it's gonna take us out, right? No, we actually might be able to eat up, eat this uh, hail up. It's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. Eat up the hail. Eat up the hail. Actually, I think hail takes out. Oh no! Now it's not gonna take us out. I don't think it's gonna take us. I thought it would probably take us out. Oh no, we, we're down to seven now. Why aren't we taking hail damage? What's going on? Why don't we take any hail damage? Oh, I've I've air lock. Woohoo! Air lock. Air lock. We love you, air lock. We love you, air lock. But from here, we gotta go here. And take out Regilecki. Because you know Regilecki would be the fastest on the field if it wasn't for my Ray Rayquaza. So Earth Power's gonna poke here. Send it. Yes, sir. Yo, air lock. Air lock. Beautiful. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Because yeah, I think Ray Rayquaza would have went down there. Definitely would have went down. Now we go down to life orb damage. That's fine by me. We're gonna snarl here and we have some we, we should be thriving here. We got some good Pokemon in the back end. Flare probably not gonna take out, but still chip up some damage. Which is gorgeous. Which is gorgeous. He's probably gonna go for a strike. Yep, he goes for the max strike. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. That's easy eats. That's easy eats, baby. Mwah. Mwah. Love it. Love it. So, their battle's looking real good in their favor. Really, really good for us. 
Looking really, really lovely. Lovely. He's gonna take some buffets, and I'm just gonna bring out, bring out Urshifu from here, right? I'm gonna bring out Urshifu to try to get off some big damage, because I know a Flare Blitz can take out P2 now. This Dynamax is over, and then we can go after the Sash. Just Sash to our advantage, right? Drop a close combat on that thing. Drop a nice, lovely close combat. I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. I could go for a burn on him, but I, I just feel like taking out the P2's is probably our call, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna flare butts over on here, and I'm just gonna drop a nice big old close combat. His smart play would be, oh, we hit through protects. We do hit through protects, and you know what? I'm just gonna go for a certain strike here. So he's not gonna protect. There's no shot. There's no shot unless he's a dummy. Unless you dummy. I'm actually hoping he protects, just so we can hit through to protect. <laughs> I'll drop the Surge of Strikes because I think Surge of Strikes will do a bit more damage here. We get them crits. We get them lovely crits. We shall see. We shall see. Make a move, dude. Get some gun for Sacred Sword. That's fine. We are sashed. And we can eat it up anyway. We can eat it up regardless. Flare Bus flies through here. Takes out him, no problem. They're thriving and then certain strikes. I don't think certain strikes is gonna take him out. I'm actually hope it can, but if not, again, we have we have plenty of Pokemon to finish off this battle. Plus, I can Aqua Jet next turn. Certain strike coming in hot, coming in hot. Bump, 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 bump. Aye. And no, it doesn't even do. Oh, it does like no damage. It's close combat at this point. Just close combat at this point. But still, now it, it, it it's over with because it's either he takes out my Urshifu and it takes a Flare Blitz to the death, or he takes out my Arcanine. And takes another certain strikes to death. So I, th I just think our opponent cancels battle, and we take our first real victory for today's video. So we go two and one for today's video, or you guys can you guys can decide what the what the other battle was. I already explained to you guys. So technically two and one, or you could say we were just one and one for today's video. Or we can go one one and one and count that second one as a draw. But he's gonna take a sword. That's totally fine. Like I said, Urshifu can drop. Flare Blitz is gonna be able to fly through here and give us some money. It is all over. And we still have you belt in the back end with Sucker Punch. It's just over. It is just over. GGs. GG's Flare Bus flies through here, and there's the final KO. There is, ladies and gentlemen, a solid set of battles for today's video. I want to give one last huge shout out to my boy Joshua for leaving his team on my Twitter page. Like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, if you guys want to send me rental codes, head over to my Twitter. Link is down in the description below at Gene's YouTube over on Twitter. Tweet me, DM me, all that good stuff. But yo, Rayquaza, Yvelta Squad, with Tox Trusty, I absolutely loved it. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.